Could have been mentioned. Uh, Wilson. I just think Luck, Luck and Wilson is probably the only two out of that. Griffin, uh, and he's about, been. What oh, about Tannehill? Tannehill's actually been pretty darn good this year. I ain't going to lie. He's been solid. But would you would you really want him to be your franchise guy? You know what I would like Tannehill as? Is if, if I was like year four, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the year eight of my quarterback where I know he's going on a downhill. Mm-hmm. Get someone that can kind of tutor him along the way. Mm-hmm. Maybe that type of quarterback that if, if I want to go ahead and have a – that's it. I mean, I don't know. I'm just – I'm just throwing what that out. What about Andy Dalton? No. Colin Kaepernick? No. Here's a polarizing name for you, Joe Flacco. No. He's, Joe. Been, to the play- he's been to the playoffs all but one year. He's got a Super Bowl. Granted, he looks like Burt from Sesame Street, but. He's also had one of the best defenses. Almost. Doesn't matter. He threw for 340 yards in the Super Bowl against the I mean, other best defense. I mean, oh, can, yeah. can, can we can we say that about Russell Wilson too? You want to say he had one of the best defenses? What about Russell Wilson? Russell also led y'all up for 40 points, and also he, put up 40 points on the best defense this year. Uh, he put up 40 points in the Super Bowl. Didn't the defense put up like 20 of those? They still put up 40 points. They put up 40 points on Arizona just a week ago, and Arizona's the number one ranked defense. What? No, Detroit is. What about Matt Ryan? Matt Ryan is solid. I, I don't. He's solid though, man, because he he's hit and miss sometimes though, with me. But I, I I like Matt Ryan. He said he said and miss in January. Yeah, that mm-hmm. sounds that sounds about right. Matthew Stafford. Uh, yeah, I said Stafford maybe. He's yeah. slowly see Stafford, Matt Stafford. The Detroit Lions have done it right. Can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Look at the other three quarterbacks drafted in the first round in 2009. There's three quarterbacks. Can y'all tell me who they were? What was it? Stafford, Sanchez, and Freeman. Mm. Stafford, Sanchez, and Freeman. Freeman's out of the league thanks to Greg Schiano's blackballing. Don't get me started on that. Sanchez went to a rough market. The Detroit Lions took Matt Stafford. Threw him to the wolves and let him struggle. And you know what? They're reaping the benefits now because of it. It's called growing pain. That's I blame Ben Roethlisberger for this new belief that if a quarterback does not get you to the playoffs as a rookie and doesn't get you to the playoffs his second year, doesn't win the Super Bowl his second year, he's a bust, cut him, send him somewhere else. Things take time. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Joe Montana was 3-13 and his first year in the league. Troy Aikman was 1-15. Yep. Steve Young played with the Bucks. Let's have him talk about that. Just to name three. Brett Favre was 6-10 and his first year in the league. Three years later, Brett Favre was the MVP. Four years later, he's winning the Super Bowl. Things take time. That's the problem with the NFL today. If a quarterback hasn't done it right away, they're washing hands of it. The Baltimore Ravens, excuse me, Joe Flacco was taken in 2008. He's another one. They let suffer, and they reap the benefits. So I would say yes to Matt Stafford. Yeah. He's, he's seasoned. He's been in there. Now, granted, granted, he has the greatest receiver of our time with him right now, but it doesn't matter. He's still doing it. But you know what? He also did that when Calvin Johnson was down with Golden Tate and and the, the, the rookie y'all talk about, Ebron, too. So, I mean, that alone, I kind of proved to me when Calvin Johnson went down, Matt Stafford was still pretty solid without the best receiver in the game. Yeah, it's true. So that's why I said I totally agree with you on that, John. So there's hope. <laughs> there's hope. There's hope for people that suck during their first year and become better. So yeah. I have hope. Yeah, Kevin, you should. I mean, I, I know your offense coordinator got fired what did they say? Because he overused Bortles? Was that? Because he was a dumbass. That's why. <laughs> because the coach Don't. wanted him to play in a hurry, and he wanted to over, over make uh, Blake overthink, like I've been saying the whole damn time. Yeah. You don't make him overthink. You don't give him too much to put on his plate. He's a rookie. You let him go out and play the game. Well, Jed Fish thought he could try to overwhelm him and always belittle him and everything. And you can't do that to a rookie quarterback. You just can't do it. So they can do it, which they yeah. should have. Very thankful. <laughs> Are we wrapping up, guys? So I have hope. You have hope. 
Yeah, we're wrapping up here. Not a lot of hope. All right. So, whenever the weekend, Kevin and John is going to get together, and they're going to do a re- go ahead and actually talk about college, the college playoffs. We'll talk about the college. We'll talk about the college games that happen over New Year's, mm-hmm. and then we'll talk about we'll preview the NFL playoffs that are going to happen sun, Saturday and Sunday. Wild card matchup. So. Yeah. Look forward to that. They will be doing the show and everything like that. So they did a show by themselves. So it'll be fun again. To Somebody's listen. going to Bastion. <laughs> I'm going to the fridge of cold. You can't get freezing Bastion. Attacking the yard. <laughs> None of the cows are wrecking because they are frozen. <laughs> okay. But yeah, look forward to that show this weekend. Yeah, my family guy. <laughs> Kevin and John did a wonderful job last time. So I expect them to do the same <laughs> as well. Okay. All right, make sure you check us out on Twitter. Go to at Boss Not Court. You can go, you can go find me at in the mind of CP. I'm at Kevin C2415. Mr. Just Ork. find me on Facebook. <laughs> find him on the page, ladies and gentlemen. That's on the page. What he means is go to Facebook and look in the search bar and type in Boss Not Court Podcast. We'll pop up. Go like the page. It's got all our content on there as far as pictures, podcasts, everything like that. You can get the podcast at Podomatic, iTunes, Stitcher. Spreaker, you got iHeartRadio, Windows Zoom, we're everywhere. I mean, we, we really are. People so. liking random comments of <laughs> of John posting Some, spin doctors. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're always pretty active. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take some of our awards and put some pictures of it and, and see who, you know, this is Kevin show, this is John show, this is who I choose. So it should be fun. All right. Make sure you check us, the Hardwood Nation. Go to www.thehardwoodnation.com. No buys, no spin, just basketball. That should do it for us. Just LeBron bitching. Oh. <laughs> All right, that should do it for us. We do want to thank you for listening. We're seeing seven episodes in. Going into a new year, we're going to go strong. Right, you know, I'm always, it's going to be a pleasure doing this with Kevin and, and John when he can make it on. We know John is a busy individual. So when we... Yes, yeah, the there, rest of us are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So whenever he gives him time, he's glad to have him on. Kevin's always, whenever he's available, you know, he'll he'll do a show. But, you know, it's always fun. So besides that, we want to wish everybody a happy New Year. Y'all want to say happy New Year's, everybody? Go ahead and tell them. Yeah, whatever. Happy New Year's, everybody. Be safe. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) Don't y'all get drunk and hit a tree or do whatever. Call AAA. They're driving people free. No excuses. Use Uber. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Use Uber. <laughs> S- support support my work. And- no, if you were to support me, you would use me. As all right. All right, gentlemen. I'm bowing out. Y'all have a good night. All right. All right take care, everybody. This is Baldwin Court Podcast. Take care. Oh, yeah.